Hey there guys and girls, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial with PSD Box. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to show you how I made this simple manipulation in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to make this really cool colors and how to integrate um, a person into something like this. This was the original image of the model. I got it uh, from unsplash.com and you'll have the full resolution image on the resources folder and we're going to create this. Uh, we're just going to add a few elements. I'm going to show you how to create the colors on the woman so that she fits this uh, new background, how to add these particles using stock images and blend modes. And we're gonna make some effects and I'm gonna use for, uh, Camera Raw for the final touches. Uh, I'm using Photoshop CC for this tutorial. It's recommended that you use at least Photoshop CS6 because we're gonna use the color lookup adjustment, uh, which uh, is not available in previous versions of Photoshop. Um, so. Photoshop CS5, for example, does not have it. If you only have Photoshop CS6, don't worry. Um, the camera raw filter can still be used uh, with the um, um, trick that I'm going to show you at the end. So um, I hope you enjoy this um, effect. I hope you will like this tutorial. So let's get started. So first, we're going to start creating the background. I'm going to open my stock folder, these are all the photos that we're gonna need for this. And actually we're gonna start with this window. Luckily for you and for me as well, because uh, it saves some time, uh, it's a PNG file. So open that and this will be, this will determine the size of our canvas. I'm gonna press Ctrl Command O again and this will be my background. It's actually a painting, you will see. But I really loved the color, uh, the colors of it. Uh, this, If you have a sunset image, you can use it as well. I just loved uh, these colors over here. So let's name this W for window, create a new layer, pressing control, clicking the new layer icon, this will create the uh, new layer underneath. And I'm gonna make it just a bit bigger. And let's name this BG for background. Now this background image, because it's a painting, I'm gonna blur it because I don't wanna see the texture of it. Um, if you wanna have a painting-like image, you can leave it as it is, but I'm just going ahead. So you can use the um, Gaussian blur, I like to use the fill blur for this. And I'm just gonna blur it to the point where I don't see the texture. Uh, don't do something like this, it's too extreme. You wanna still see some of the background, you can still wanna tell what's on the background, but you don't wanna see the texture. Maybe even 30 uh, or 35, maybe for this canvas size. Let's click OK. Now that we have the background, what I wanna do, as you can see, the glass here is white and you cannot see through it. I would like to have some of the colors showing through the glass, but only through the glass and not the frame. So what you can do is use the same background image as a um, as a color scheme for this. So I'm gonna select it, press Ctrl Command J, this will duplicate it, and I'm gonna drag it on top. And I will change the blend mode to color. Okay, because this is exactly the same image, you don't even have to clip it, but just for safety, uh, I'm gonna clip it with Alt and clicking between the two layers, this will, this uh, arrow indicates it's clipped, which only affects the W layer. Now, you can see that some of the colors is showing through the frame as well, which is not what I want. I just want this to be visible on the glass. And we, the way you can solve this, as you can see, this frame is black and the, um, this um, glass is white. So what you can do is use the blending settings. Double click on this BG copy, and on the blending options, you'll see two sliders here. And the one that says underlaying layer, you can tell Photoshop that if the underlaying layer has black colors, you don't want this image to be visible on that on those uh, black colors, on black tones. So simply move this towards the right. And you can see that this effect starts to disappear. And if you wanna have a smooth transition, press and hold the Alt key and click this, it will split this to um, sliders and you can see uh, remove it, uh, move it slightly towards the, towards the left, and I'm gonna click OK, and you'll see the result. Check this glass over here, for example, or this one. If I deactivate this layer, you will see how it becomes white again. And if you activate it, it and it looks like uh, some of the color passes through that glass. Uh, little details, but uh, will make the image look a bit more realistic. 